Hello everyone, today I'll be covering ancient and medieval MCQ for paper 1 mains. In this video, I'll be covering from question number 1 to 100, and in the second video, I'll be covering from 101 to 200. So let's get the video started. <clears throat> the term Bhagavaduta means so, what is Bhagavaduta? Bhagavaduta means text collector. Next, the Rig Veda or early Vedic society comprised of how many varnas so the rig veda or the early vedic period a society con consisted of four varnas F varnas means sex that is brahman chashya uh, sudras and vaishyas next later vedic period exists in so the there are two uh, period that is the early Vedic period that is the arrival of the Ved of the Aryans and the second is the later Vedic period and this period existed in the Gangetic plane. Next Kulapa was the head of the so the Kulapa is uh, is the head of the family it is defined in early Vedic period Rashtra so Rashtra Rashtra means Rashtra Rashtra means country Senani means so Sena Sena means army so Senani is related to army general. Next seven cotton was known as Sindondu. So <coughs> cotton was known as Sindondu Greeks. Sindon was called cotton by the Greeks because during the Indus Valley civilization uh, the Indus Valley people were very famous for cotton production and thus the Greeks called this uh, cotton as Sindon as they were unable to pronounce the cotton so they called it Sindon next number eight the largest Indus Valley, uh, Indus Valley site was discovered in India in so the largest Indus Valley uh, site is discovered in Rakhigari which is in Haryana next Plot field was first discovered at so the plot field was first discovered at Kalibangan and Kalibangan means black bangles. Kali means black and Bangan means bangles. And if you talk about the uh, water harvesting system, it is first discovered at Lothal, also known as the port city of the Indus Valley civilization. Next, Harappa is located on the river. So the Harappan Harappa river uh, Harappa civilization was loca uh, located on the river based on the base of river Ravi however Indus Valley civilization was located in Indus Valley uh, Indus river the Indus Valley civilization occurred in the period within so the Indus Valley civilization occurred between 2500 BC to 1750 BC <coughs> next the chief crops of the Indus Valley people were so the chief crops of the Indus Valley people were wheat and barley rice was barely known and the wheat and barley were common for the Indus Valley civilization a dockyard was discovered at so the dockyard was 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 found at Lothal as I've told you Lothal is also known as the dockyard of the Indus Valley civilization and it is here where the uh, water harvesting system was also first seen next early vedic period exists between so we know that the indus valley civilization exists from 2500 bc to 1750 bc so naturally the early vedic period will come after 1750 bc so the answer is a that is 1500 bc to 1000 bc that is 1500 if we go again it will go to 1500 and to 1000 bc the only city without a citadel so the only city without the citadel was Chanhodara because every Indus Valley site had a citadel citadel means a building with a very long uh, structure and this was absent particularly in Chanhodara in the Indus Valley civilization Mohanjadoro means so Mohanjadoro means the mount of the dead it was where many dead bodies were found so this is also known as the Mount of the Dead. Number 17. Mandala. Which mandala contains the Purushukta? So uh, the the 
10 mandala contain the purushukta which means the uh, what is purushukta purushukta is the is the mandala which contain the fir, the four sex of the um, in the uh, of the aryan civilization that is the four parts of the society that is brahmin chatras sudras and vaishas also known as the purushukta next ashrama system was introduced in so the ashrama system was introduced in the later vedic period next 19 16 mahajanapadas existed in the period between so the mahajanapadas existed after the aryan civilization if you look at the timeline the indus valley civilization started from 2500 to 1750 bc so after the after the indus valley civilization came the vedic period which started from 1500 to 1000 bc so the mahajanapadas came after 1000 bc so naturally if we look at the answer the answer will be from 600 to 325 bc among the 16 mahajanapadas which state emerged as the most powerful so the 16 mahajanapadas are the 16 most powerful uh, states that exist that emerged after the vedic period and among them the Magadha empire was the most powerful number 21 who was found out who was the founder of the haryanga dynasty so the haryanga dynasty was founded by bimbisara and after bimbisara came ajata satru ajata satru Ajata Satru and it was during the Ajat, uh, the time of Ajata Satru that that uh, Buddhism began to flourish. So the first founder of the Haryanga dynasty was Bimbisara. Which among the following was the capital of Magadha? So the capital of Magadha was Rajgiraha, which is uh, near the um, central part of India. Dust Rajan, the battle of the ten kings was fought on. So the Dust Rajan was fought on the banks of river Ravi. The Great Bath was discovered at. So what is the Great Bath? The Great Bath is a big structure that was located in the in the city of Mohanjadoro, where people worshipped and took and various religious ceremonies were held in the great path if we look at the history all the important structures of the indus valley civilization were built around the mohanjadara and the second is a haraba where six granary were found the only prominent structure is the six granaries other than that the dancing figure and the great path and numerous other structures were found at Mohenjo-daro. Next, lapus lazuli was imported. Lapus lazuli is a rock, and this was imported from Afghanistan. Next, near God, near Granta, near Granta is a title which was given to uh, Lord Mahavira, who was the found, uh, who was the Tindifort Dithandakaras or the Tindifort fo uh, follower of Jainism and Tirtan Kara was given to him because he was free from all bonds, that is, free from all pleasures and worldly, um, um, earth, earthly materialistic uh, gains. So, Nirkantra means free from the, free from all those materialistic uh, then, um, desires. Next, twenty-seven. When was Lord Mahavira born? So Lord Mahavira was born in 599 BC. He was born earlier than ja uh, Lord Gautama Buddha. Next, who is regarded as the first empire builder of Indian history? So the first empire builder of Indian history was Mahapadma. Who built the city of Maha of Pataliputra? So Pataliputra was founded by Udayan, who was one of the um, who was one of the members of the Haryanga dynasty, which was founded by the Hari uh, the Haryanga dynasty was Bimbisara, Ajatasatru, and if you look at the last, it will be Udayan. Next. 
the name of Mahavira's daughter was so the name of Mahavira's daughter was Priya Darshini. Who was the fond of who was the founder of the Ajivika sect? So the Ajivika sect is a one of the is one of the sect uh, that is uh, different from Buddhism and Jainism and this was founded by Mahakali Koshala who was at one time a friend of Lord of Mahavira. However, due to this agreement, they they separated the two different decks whereas Ma uh, Lord Mahavira founded uh, was the founder of the Jainism and Ajivika sect was founded by Mahakali Kosha Maskariputta. So if you look at the entire name, it will be Mahakali Koshala Maskariputta. Then symbol of Mahavira. So the symbol of Mahavira was uh, lion. Was lion. And he is also known as the Tindifort Tirthankaras. What is Tirthankara? Tirthankara is the reincarnation of the uh, tin, tin four people and tin four people who were considered holy and free from the worldly pleasures and the first was Rishabha and the last was Lord Mahavira who was the 24th Lord Gautama Buddha was found was born in Lumbini so he was born in Lumbini in five around 563 BC next at which place the first Jain council was held. So the first Jain council was held in Pataliputra. Next. Which among the following is an important Jain text? So Indika was was written by Megasthenes. Artha Sastra was founded by Kautilya. And so the answer is Ardhama Gathi. Number 36. The death of Mahavira is associated with. So the death of Mahavira is the death of Mahavira is associated with none of this because there was nothing to symbolize the death of Mahavira. However, if we look at Buddhism, the death of Buddhism was marked by stupa. And will means the great turning of Buddha. Next. Gautama Buddha died in so Gautama Buddha was born in Lumbini however he died at Kushinagar near Uttar Pradesh uh, in Bihar sorry in Gautama Buddha, uh, Gautama Buddha attained enlightenment on the river so Gautama Buddha re uh, received his enlightenment under the Buddha under, under the Buddha tree and the river was none of this be, uh, next Vinaya and Sutta Pitaka emerged as of emerged of which Buddhist council so Vinaya and Sutta Pitaka emerged during the first Buddhist council Vinaya uh, Vinaya Pitaka and Sutta Pitaka are the re uh, religious texts of the Buddhist Sutta Pitaka is that which consists which consists of Buddhist teachings and this emerged during the first Buddhist council which was held under the uh, patronage of Ajata Satru. Next, who founded the Mauryan Empire? The Mauryan Empire was founded by Chandragupta Maurya who ascended the throne with the help of his mentor Kautilya or Chanakya who wrote Aja, uh, Artha Sastra. And it uh, it was during the time of Chandragupta Maurya that Megasthenes also wrote Indiga. Next, Ashoka became a follower of Buddhism under the guidance of. So Ashoka became a pet, pet, uh, patron of Buddhism under the guidance of Upagupta. And after 261 BC. So what is 261 BC? 261 BC is during that time when the Kalinga war took place and it was after this war that Ashoka denounced the violence and he became a saint or an adherent follower of Buddhism. Next, 42. Who wrote the famous book 
Gatsa Gatsapta Sati. So Gatsapa Sati was found was written by Hala. Next. The capital of the Moran Empire. So the capital of the Moran Empire was Pataliputra, which is known by today as Patna. The only son of Ashoka mentioned in the inscription was so the only son of Ashoka that was mentioned in the inscription was Divara. There was also one another son of Ashoka known as Mahendra who became a uh, who who propagated Buddhism in Shiranga. Next, the Ashokan inscription which is bilingual is so the Ashokan inscription which is bilingual was Kandahar which consisted of two types of language that is uh, th that is contained in the Kandahar pillar inscription which is the only inscription that talks about the collection of texts in the Moran Empire so the collection of texts in the Moran Empire was first uh, was uh, was given only in the Roman Roman Day Pillar inscription. Next, the largest inscription of Ashoka. The largest inscription of Ashoka is located at Super Sab Sabas Garhi. Next, the king who captured the land between the two seas was. So the king who captured the two land between the seas was Bindusara, who was the father founder, uh, father of Ashoka. Which Moran king defeated Silesius Nikator? So Silesius Nikator was defeated by Chandragupta Maurya, and it was after this defeat that Silesius Nikator and Chandragupta Maurya became friends. And Silesius Nikator sent an ambassador on the court of Chandragupta Maurya, and this. Uh, was who this was known as Megasthenes who wrote the book Indiga. The first Buddhist, uh, the fourth Buddhist council was held under the uh, chairman of Kanishka, and this, uh, the last Buddhist council, the fourth Buddhist council was uh, was held under the German chief of Vasumitra, sorry, and it was under the patronage of Kanishka, and this. The fourth Buddhist council took place in Kashmir Valley. Next, who wrote Indica? As I've already told you, Megasthenes, who was the uh, court poet of, who was the court of Sil uh, court poet of Silesius Nikator, and he was sent during the time of Chandragupta Maurya. Next, fifty-two, who wrote Artha Sastra? Artha Sastra is a book on uh, public administration and various other. Uh, fields and this was written by Kautilya, also known as Chanakya, and he was the mentor of Chandragupta Maurya. The two sects of Jainism are so the two sects of Jainism are Swetambars and Dikambars. Swetambars means uh, Swetambars are those which do not follow orthodoxly, but Dikambars are those that follow orthodox. They prefer to go naked, whereas Swetambars they wear a white cloth over their bodies. Next, who is the real founder of Jainism? So, as I've already told you, Jainism consists of 24 Tibetan Dharkaras, that is 24, 24 leaders, and the first leader was Rishabha. And he was the first Tirtankara. However, the third, the 23rd Tirtankara was Parasunath, and the 24th and the last Tirtankara was Mahavira, and he was represented by Bull. Uh, he was represented by lion, whereas Parasnot was represented by bull, uh, serpent, that is snake, and Rishabha was represented by bull. So this is the, um, the uh, answer. Next, uh, Rishabha is the real founder of Buddhism, uh, Jainism. Abhidhamma Pitaka emerged during the which Buddhist council? So Abhidhamma Pitaka emerged during the third Buddhist council, which was headed by uh, Lord King Ashoka at Pataliputra and this Abhidhamma Pitaka emerged during the Buddhist council for uh, third Buddhist council next the second Buddhist council was held under the leadership of so the second Buddhist council held under the leadership of Sabakami the bird of Buddha is associated with so the bird of Buddha is associated with lotus 
there are specific symbols that associate the life and death of Buddha. The bird is associated with lotus. Stupa um, uh, symbolizes his death and the wheel means the great turning. Next, Vihara means Vihara means temple. Megasthenes divided Indian society into many classes. So, Megasthenes was the was the uh, was the court poet of Seleucus Nicator, and he came during the time of Chandragupta Maurya, and he divided Indian societies into seven classes. Which book is considered as the Bible of the Tamil land? So, the Bible of the Tamil land, Tamil land, uh, was defined by Kural, and this is known as the it this was uh, established during the Sangam age. Next, Tolkiaba, that is Tamil grammar, was written by so the if you look at the name Tolka Tolkapiam was written by Tolka Pier. So the book will refer to the author. So the answer is Tolka Pier. Who is the founder of the Gupta Empire? So we know that the first Gupta Emperor was founded by Sri Gupta and but the real founder of the Gupta Empire was Chandra Gupta and next who was the real founder of the Gupta Emperor so as I've already told you the real founder of the Gupta Emperor was Chandra Gupta one who is known as the second Ashoka the second Ashoka was given to Kanishka because Kanishka ruled India uh, in much land uh, having much land as compared to Ashoka so Kanishka was the second Ashoka and he also convened the third Buddhist council in Kashmir Valley Baga was a land revenue during so the Baga is uh, was land revenue during the Gupta Empire next Gupta Empire reached Zenith during so Gupta Empire reached Zenith during Chandragupta II and uh, he was also known as Vikram Aditya and next who is the greatest ruler of the Gupta Emperor so the greatest ruler of the Gupta Emperor was Samudra Gupta who was also known as the Napoleon of India and he is famous for playing Veena Veena that is a musical instrument and the Allahabad pillar inscription is dedicated to Sam uh, Samudra Gupta next who is the only Gupta ruler to issue copper coin? So the copper coin was issued by Ramagupta. Who issued copper coins? Who issued Kumara Devi type coins? So Kumara Devi was the wife of Chandragupta I, who belonged to the Lichavi tribe in central India, and he, along with his wife, issued the Kumara Devi type coins. Who was the greatest ruler of the Pandyan kingdom? So the greatest ruler of the Pandyan kingdom was N Nindu Nindujilian. Next, who repair who repaired the Sudarshan Lake? So the Sudarshan Lake was built during the time of Chandragupta Maurya, and it was repaired during the Rudraman by King Rudraman. Govi Karta was the head of the. So the Govi Karta is head of the forest department, which Mahajanapada was located outside India. So we know that there are 16 Mahajanapadas and the only that is located outside India are Gandhara and Kamboja. Tree Ratna is associated with so Tree Ratna is associated with Jainism and it consists of three that is three principles of Jainism right faith, right knowledge and right action. So these are the three principles of Jainism and this is known as Tree Ratna. The Mauryan Empire was divided into how many provinces? So the Mauryan Empire was divided into five provinces. Next, Kila, Kila, Kila is related to so Kila means land, Gila land, and this is referred to as West land. Next, the state demand during the Gupta period was so state demand was won by six of the group. That is. If the if a Brahman produces thirty six quintals of rice, then sixth, then one by six of thirty six will belong to the 
kingdom and this is known as the state demon during the Gupta period and it was won by sixth next who is known as the Napoleon of India as I've already told you Chandra uh, Sandra, Samudra Gupta was known as the Napoleon of India next who wrote Mirchi Katika so Mircha Katika was written by uh, Sudarga next Kanoj assembly was held in so the Kanoj assembly was an assembly that was held during the time of Harsha Vardhana who was a follower of Buddhism and he convened this Kanoj assembly in 643 AD and you might have uh, come across this Hyun Sang so Hyun Sang was a Chinese traveler who came to India during the reign of Harsha Vardhana next who is known as Sala Sakala Thora Padeshwara that is the lord of the whole northern India so this was given to Harsha Vardhana who was a great ruler who emerged after the Gupta Empire next who wrote Kadambari and Harsha Charita so Kadambari and Harsha Charita was written by Banabata who was the court poet of Harsha Vardhana next who wrote Nagananda Ratnavali and Priya Darsika so this was written by Harsha Rat, uh, Ma, uh, Nagananda Ratnavali and Priya Darsika was written by Harsha he was also a great writer and he wrote three books the Nagananda Ratnavali and Priya Darsika remember these three names Vartana dynasty was founded by so the Vartana dynasty was founded not by Harsha but he it was founded by Pushabuti the son of Pushabuti was uh, at the first fall at the first king of the Vardhana dynasty was Pushabuti which dynasty issued the largest number of gold coins in ancient India so the largest number of gold coins was issued during the time of Gupta next the practice of Sati was found in 510 AD and pract Sati practice was found in the Gupta period and this was found in Iran in the Iran inscription who introduced the cave temple of architecture so the cave temple in architecture was started by Mahindra Varma 1 next I holy inscription is an eulogy written by so I holy inscription was the inscription written by um, was Ravi Kirti he was the corporate of Pulakishan 2 and Pulakishan 2 is famous because he was the first ruler who defeated Harsha and this I holy inscription denotes the defeat of Harsha by Pulakishan 2 who defeated the Huns the Huns are a tribe of Central Asia and they came in groups and this was defeated by Skanda Gupta next Chinese pilgrim Fahen visited India during the reign of so Fahen visited India during the reign of uh, Chandragupta II the demand for state during the Mauryan period so we know that for Gupta it was 1 by 6 and for the Mauryan period it was uh, also 1 by 6 next who is hero of the Kalidasa drama Ma Malavika Agni Mitram so if we look at the name Kalidasa was a um, was a pat patron of uh, the Gupta uh, Gupta dynasty and he wrote uh, Malavika Agni Matram that is the story of Agni Mitra so if you look at the name the term Agni Mitra comes into play next who was the famous Indo-Greek ruler so the famous Indo-Greek ruler was Menander who was also known as Melinda and well, who and he was a famous Indo-Greek ruler next who was the founder of the Satavahana dynasty the, the Satavahana dynasty was founded by uh, Simuka next who is the famous king of the Chedi dynasty so the Chedi dynasty was uh, the famous uh, king was Karavela next who converted Menander to Buddhism so we already know that Menander was the famous Indo-Greek ruler and he 
health talks with Nag uh, Nagasena and this book in which he held talks with Nagasena about Buddhism was also known as Milint Panho and this book uh, contains serious discussion between Menender and Nagasena and and side information Menender is also known as Melinda he, uh, he it is the indigenous name of Menender who built a short temple at Mahabalipuram the short temple at Mahabalipuram was built by Raja Simha next King Harsha was defeated so as I've already told you King Harsha was defeated by Polygation uh, 1 uh, Polygation 2 and this defeat was uh, given in the I Holy inscription and the I Holy inscription was written by Ravi Kirti and this Ravi Kirti was the court poet of Polygation 2 so next Hyun Sang visited the kingdom of so Hyun Sang not only visited the kingdom of Harsha but also visited the kingdom of Polygation 2 next number uh, the last question for today is which Gupta ruler was adorned by Navaratnas. Navaratnas consisted of nine famous men and just like the Navaratnas of Akbar and the the Navaratnas of ancient India was first started by Chandragupta II and we know Kalidasa so Kalidasa was also one of the nine Navaratnas of Chandragupta II so with this the first video part video on ancient and medieval india has come to an end i hope you all like the video please keep preparing and good luck to all thank you